Welcome, boys and girls, to another exciting, exciting children's church. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys want, are ready to dance, move, because we are about to have an awesome, awesome children's church. So I want everybody to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yes, you. You too. Stand up. Stand up. And let us enjoy this amazing worship. All on the cross, all your burdens there. Leave all your cares right there. His grace will strengthen you. When fear overwhelms me and all I need is peace, I call out the name Jesus, name above all.
How nice was the worship, boys and girls? Did you enjoy the worship? Did you? Okay, now, so I want you guys to close your eyes, so we're going to pray for the word. Close your eyes. Father God, we come before you, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, for you have given us this wonderful day to worship you, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, as we gather here together, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will minister into our lives, Lord. And I pray, Lord, as we hear your word, that we keep it into our heart and share it out to the world, Lord. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey boys and girls, today we are going to do the last of the five confessions of the blood of Jesus. Are you ready? Let's go. Repeat after me. By the blood of Jesus, I am sanctified and set apart for God. Well done, boys and girls. Let's do it again. Repeat after me. By the blood of Jesus, I am sanctified and set apart for God. Well done, boys and girls. You are doing so amazingly. Let's fill in the blanks. By the blood well done of jesus i am sanctified and set apart for god boys and girls you are so clever let's do it one more time repeat after me by the blood of jesus i am sanctified and set apart for God. Well done, boys and girls. You have now learned all five of the confessions. I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye. Morning, Active Kids. So good to be with you all again this week. Yes. Now, I want to ask you, you know, is there a special, like, cup and saucer set at home that only mommy brings out for that very special occasion like Christmas or when you have special guests coming over to visit you. Hey, I mean, it's like it's a very, very special set of cups and saucers. Well, I'm going to show you my very special set of cups and saucers. All right, here's a cup and saucer set. All right, and this only comes out on very special occasions, right? I don't use this for every day in my house. So this cup and saucer set is very precious to me and I don't want it to be broken or chipped. So I have to take very good care of it, right? So, you know, there are cups and saucers in my house that I use for every day. And I don't really mind if those get chipped or broken. You know, I'm not going to go <gasps> and be all like traumatized if one of the everyday cups gets chipped or broken. No, because accidents happen. And you know what? They're there to be used every day. I will even allow my small children to wash them. Yes. And to walk around the house with them. And it's okay. All right. And I'm not really going to worry about running after my children going, where are my cups and saucers? Where are my cups and saucers? No, I'm not worried because that's not my special set like this set of cups and saucers. Right. So the children will not be allowed to carry or wash that special set. All right. And I really, really, really want to look after it. So I'm very careful about...
about who handles that cup and saucer set, right? I want to take good care of it because it is special to me. And I want to make sure that nothing happens to it, right? Yes. Okay. So I look after it with great care because it's special to me. And that is exactly what God does with us. Yes. All right. And that is what sanctified means. That is exactly what the word sanctified means. It means that God has set us apart as holy. All right, He has set us apart. He's put us aside to take good care of us because we are special to Him, right? And because He wants to look after us. Amen. God wants to take good care of us so that nothing happens to us. He looks after us with great care because we are so precious to Him. Now, sanctified. We're going to look at the word sanctified. It also means to be holy. All right, now, because we are precious to God, as His children, He also wants to set us apart to be holy, right? We are His holy children. And what does that mean? Well, we are set apart to do His good work here on the earth because He made us to be holy like Him. Amen. So, we are able to help others. All right, we are able to help others because He has set us apart to be like Him here on the earth. We can be like Him at home and when we're at school and even when we are playing with our friends, right? Isn't that amazing? Yes, it's amazing. We are His special children set apart to do His good work where? Here on the earth. Amen. All right. So we are going to go into a time of prayer now. And we are going to thank Jesus and ask Him to help us to do His good special work. Amen. Amen. All right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come, we're going to pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you that you set us apart as your special treasure. Thank you that you love us so much and that you have made us holy by your precious blood. Thank you that you have given us your power to do your work here on the earth and be just like you. Help us to help others. Help us to choose to be kind always. Help us to choose to be forgiving. Help us to choose to be good. Jesus, we pray for our dads and our moms. We pray for our brothers and our sisters. We pray for our schools and our friends. Help us to help them to be more like you so that they too would be sanctified. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, boys and girls. Well, we are going into a very special time of the service, and that is our activity time with Joshua and Caleb. All right, so I'm going to hand over to you, Joshua and Caleb. Have a good activity, boys and girls. I'll see you next week. Love you lots. Bye. On Joshua and Caleb's Corner, we are talking about the fact that the blood of Jesus has sanctified us, has set us apart so that we can fulfill His purpose. He's, he set us aside, right? That means we are heroes. We've been set apart. We are heroes for Jesus. Yay. Look at that. Whoa. We've been sanctified, set apart. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so for our masks on Joshua and Caleb's corner, we are going to make, so we're going to make masks, so we need, so we're going to need some paper. You can have normal paper or you can have color cardboard, whatever, because we're going to decorate it. Some pencils, crayons, pastels, anything you have that's going to, you can color in. Some glue, some decorations. Mm -hmm. What is this? Scissors. And you can also get yourself some of this. Uh, and some crayons. It's like rope, or you can use cotton wool, or you can use more paper to try and uh, put your, your mask together. But we're going to use that, okay? So first things first, we're going to cut it. Okay, so there's our mask simple. Really simple. 
Right, now you're going to get your mommy and daddy to help you with this. But what we're going to do is, we're going to make a little hole here. And we're going to a little bit of a string. Like this. Remember, I'm only doing four because Joshua and Caleb are here with me. So, okay, so there's four. We're going to take it. That's mine. We're going to stick it in there. We're going to tie the other one as well. Make sure that it fits your head. We're going to draw eyes like that. See? Let's fix this one nicely. Okay, there's my eyes. Now I'm going to cut. Yes, and draws. Now again, make sure that you get someone to help you, okay? Okay, so now we can decorate. Go for it, decorate. Oh. This is what we're going to do first. Sorry, Caleb. We're going to make a little cross like this. Right in the middle. And we're gonna do it like that. Okay. Here's our cross. Okay. Putting some glue on so we can try and get our crosses right. Like that. And we can take some of these. Let's see. Let's try them on. Let's try them on now.